Hello guys, welcome back to the Gatekeepers TV. As usual, I'm your super host at Dennis Keton. And Molly Edwin. We the Gatekeepers, we are here bringing you this live reaction straight from France, Park. The Prince. The Prince. Mm -hmm. So guys, if you hear Park the Prince clearly, you know that we are talking about the UEFA Champions League finale. Are you excited? I'm very excited now that the match will be played at St. Denis. Denise, my name, clearly. Mm -hmm. So I'll be deciding for you guys who will be winning this trophy. So guys, before we start, guys, I believe this will be the 72nd edition of the UEFA Champions League finale. And guess what? We all know that the first, from 1956, Real Madrid won the first five trophies in a row. Back then, when it was still called the European Cup. But guys, now we are in the 21st century and we are about to witness another greatness, another masterpiece which is about to be presented at Park the Princess, St. Denis, this stadium. It's going to be exciting. But before we start, guys, we want to take you slowly, slowly as we build up until we reach the final game. So Pogba, I want to start with you. Can you, can you tell us, tell the viewers, how has the journey been for Real Madrid? Well, uh, Real Madrid, first of all, uh, uh, when, uh, with, uh, they started. They did not start good. Actually, they lost one game in the group stage. Uh, it was uh, away the... <laughs> at Sheriff Tiraspol. Uh -huh. uh, they lost to Sheriff. Uh, they came and they met PSG in the knockout stages, where the, uh, Mbappe scored a late winner at Paris. Uh, second leg. They came from behind and they won that game 3-1. Mm -hmm. So in aggregate it's 3-2. Mm -hmm. uh, after which they moved to um, it was which which team is this? Chelsea. Chelsea, yeah. They knocked Chelsea at Stamford Bridge, three mm -hmm. goals to one. Mm -hmm. and so maybe doing some mistakes with the defense. At uh, Santiago Bernabeu, Chelsea won, but uh, Chelsea won the, uh, the war, but the battle had already been won by Real Madrid in the first leg. After which Real Madrid then proceeded to meet Manchester City. Mm -hmm. City um, won by one game mm -hmm. at uh, Etihad. Mm -hmm. uh, when they went to Santiago Bernabeu, things were very much deep. No, uh, the, at game Etihad, the game started at Etihad, mm -hmm. which ended 4-3. Mm -hmm. uh, City won yes, at home, yes. but when they traveled uh, to Santiago, now things started to become uh, Pink. very bad, uh -huh. very bad, very bad. Of course, uh, Real Madrid advanced, and that's why today, 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 we are here to bring you exclusively to the finals, Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Mm -hmm. So guys, that's Real Madrid. So the journey, the journey, the journey, journey for, for Liverpool. Liverpool, their journey is very simple. For them, in the group stage, they managed to get all the 18 points because they won all the group stage ma matches, the six games, and they were able to qualify to the round of 16s. In the round of 16s, they proceeded to meet the likes of Inter Milan. They, they won against Inter Milan, of course, in terms of aggregate. Mm -hmm. They proceeded to meet Benfica, whom they again thrashed. They won in terms of aggregate again. From Benfica, they went and met now Villarreal, Villarreal mm -hmm. the, the current, uh, the ones, anyway, the previous Europa champions, yeah? So Villarreal. So in Villarreal, again, they did the usual thing. They won in terms of aggregate again. So basically, that's their journey, and that's the reason as to why we are here today talking to you about uh, St. Denis Stadium, the finale, the Champions League finale. Real Madrid versus Liverpool. Real Madrid, the 13 times Champions League winners. Look at them. Versus Liverpool, the seventh time. No, the seventh. It's the sixth. They are looking for the seventh. Mm -hmm. The sixth time UEFA Champions League winners. So, Pogba, uh -huh. will it be the 13th time who will want to make it the 14th time? Or will it be Liverpool, the ones who've won it for the sixth, uh, sixth time, they now want to go for the eighth time? What do you think? Talk to us about your thoughts about this match. Well, when um, Real Madrid started, people thought they were not good this season uh, because uh, we, we saw them play and they were like, no, this team will not make it. Because uh, when they were playing PSG at uh, 
Paris. Uh, we looked at their style of play. They were really, really, really outclassed in everything. And Tupo said Real Madrid were going home. But how they have been advancing, the first time we said it was luck. The second time we said it was luck. <laughs> the third time we were like, no, it's not luck because uh, scoring two goals against a team like Manchester City is not that simple. It's not that easy. So, um, and like I told you before, um, there's nothing like luck in football. It's all, it's all about the winning mentality. Uh, we've seen their mentality. They're not a team. It's not over for them until it's uh, until the final whistle is blown. So Real Madrid, it has been what a journey for them. Uh, their fans, their fans, their fans. I know uh, they have not been good actually because uh, at the 80th minute, Real Madrid are still down. They, they, okay, they've been making their comebacks from 80th minute, 89th minute. So Real Madrid. Yeah, and Rodrigo has been very essential in those comebacks, right? Not forgetting, of course, man of the moment, Karim Benzema, who is on form right now. He has been given, he has been giving many defenders sleepless nights. Uh, many people are crying in the hands of this guy. Uh, the likes of Rudiger, the likes of Bappe, <laughs> Messi, the likes of De Bruyne, with, the, with all his form, mm -hmm. they have all. They've all been knocked out in the hands of Karim Benzema. Karim. Mm, so, Kazipo for Liverpool. Kazipo. So, guys, clearly, as we are talking about this game, uh, on paper, when you look at it clearly, Real Madrid were given, on paper, the team, the kind of teams which they were given were kind of big teams. We can call them big teams, yeah? yeah. As opposed to the competition which Liverpool had. Mm -hmm. But throughout this journey of Champions League, I think we can't argue like, like that because we've been served with examples of it doesn't matter whether you're great or you're small. At the end of the day, what matters is the result. We are reminded of the famous game of Bayern Munich. They were eliminated by who? Chelsea? No. Which one? Bayern Munich. Oh, this season by Villarreal. This, by Villarreal. Mm -hmm. No one expected that, but clearly it so happened. So, Barcelona the same. So, it's a matter of you play your hearts out and win this game. Mm -hmm. So Pogba, mm -hmm. stakes are high in this finale. Um, remember, history has it that uh, these people, they first met in the, in the finals of this cup in 1980-1981, while still the Champions League was called the European Cup. Mm -hmm. So then, what a coincidence, guys. In 1980-1981 season, the European Cup was played at, at, at uh, Paris, Paris in Paris, yes, in Stadio de Prince. And guess what happened there? Liverpool won. Liverpool won by a solitary goal to nil. Mm, take it back now to the year 2022. Where is the finals? Paris. In Paris. Do you think the same fate will repeat itself? No. It won't happen. It won't happen. That is case scenario one. Case scenario two, we take you guys back to the very, very recent form last year. Last year, these two teams met, I think, in the quarterfinals. I remember Vinicius scoring a brace in the first leg while they were at, um, while they were in Spain at Bernabeu. Vinicius scored a brace. That match ended 3-1. It started by, first of all, Benzema scoring the first goal, which was, that first goal was a clear mistake from one goalkeeper of Liverpool called Karius. He actually served the ball straight to Benzema's leg. Mm, I know what happened. So and yeah. as we know who Benzema was, even by that time, Benzema never hesitated. He scored. That was in the after. In fact, that, that goal was scored six minutes after returning in the second half. Four minutes afterwards, guess who? Sadio Mane equalized. Mm -hmm. The match was 1 1. In the 64th minute, Carriers, another silly mistake, gifted the ball to who? Vinicius. Vinicius did the thing. My friend, my friend, it was it was bad. No, what I think what I'm talking about, the Vinicius Benzema thing, it was crazy. Still crazy. But anyway, what I'm trying to tell you guys. You forgot to tell them of, uh, about Salah's injury, Pia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are just building up there. So now uh, Salah's injury now came in the finals of, it was uh, 2018, mm -hmm. right? 2017-2018. Mm -hmm. Definitely. 2017-2018, Real Madrid met Liverpool. 
and the famous Sergio Ramos and Mosala um, escapade still lingers in our minds. Mm -hmm. What happened, Pogba? Uh, uh, Sergio Ramos, uh, Ramos Mosala. So Mosala was Ramos by Sergio, mm -hmm. and he ended breaking his shoulder, and uh, clearly that is how Salah left the finale. And Real Madrid proceeded and won by how many goals? Uh, one. I don't think it was a solitary goal. Was it? I think. Yes, it was a solitary. 3-1. 3-1. Yeah. Yes, it was 3-1. Because I remember 3-1 because Benzema scored, then uh, not Vinicius. Gareth Bale. Bale. Gareth Bale scored two goals. I call him Bale. Bale. Mm. So Bale scored two goals to make it 3-1. So what I was telling you previously before this was last year, season 2020, 2019, 2020 again when they met in the quarterfinals, mm -hmm. the scoreline again ended the same way. The aggregate was 3-1 uh -huh. because at at um, at Banabu mm -hmm. the match ended 3-1. Where I'm telling you, Vinicius scored a brace, you get, yeah. and uh, that goal for money equalizing. But, uh, but when they went back to um, to Anfield, the match ended nil nil. Liverpool were not able to overturn the results. Definitely. So last year. Um, these guys, Real eliminated Liverpool. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, if you look at that history, history, we are talking about a man or a team which is up for revenge mission. Mm -hmm. So this is Liverpool. Liverpool have been hurt by Real Madrid in the recent case, and I feel that they feel like it's time for them to take their revenge. The question is, Pogba, do you think it's the right time for Liverpool to take their revenge? Um. Well, yes, I feel it's the right time for them to take their revenge, but at the same same time, um, uh, Real Madrid, have, uh, they won La Liga, and uh, they won it very easily because they had time, they were playing, uh, they won it few games too, so they were a bit more relaxed, but Liverpool fought it until the end, they lost it, so they'll be very, 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 very much disturbed mentally. But I expect them to come fire with fire. With fire. With ammunition. By then, that note allow us to congratulate Manchester City for winning the EPL 2021-2022. They won with a one point difference. Mm -hmm. Liverpool fought to the very end, mm -hmm. but clearly luck was not on their side because Man City, were, Man City were a better team. So, straight to it. So, we are talking about uh, La Liga champions who is who are Real Madrid mm -hmm. versus the runners up in the Premier League. So, guys, this is going to be all heated up. Liverpool wants their fair share of revenge. Real Madrid wants to continue with their dominance in Europe, yeah. like being the club that always wins this thing. Pogba, once time behind the camera, has told me that we need to change this trophy's name to Real Madrid Cup. But it's still, it's still a UEFA Europa. It's still a European Cup. It's a UEFA Champions League. It needs to remain that way for competition too. Yes. So, Pogba, any injuries? Well, uh, with uh, this, um, uh, Carlo Ancelotti said there are no injury updates to worry about in that, uh, for the Real Madrid side. Now that um, the former Chelsea player Eden Hazard and uh, Gareth Bell will be on the bench, uh, will be on the tactical bench, we expect them to get some few minutes, although we don't know if they will, mm -hmm. but they are fit. So, no injury updates. For Real Madrid, yeah. but for Liverpool, Thiago Alcantara is a worry. Uh, though he's training, but I don't think if Klopp will risk, he will risk him. But if it gets worse, then there's no other choice. You have to win it. Sure, sure. But also for Real Madrid, David Alaba is back, so that's a major boost. Mm -hmm. So clearly, it is what it is. Kazipo. So uh, Liverpool still, the team remains the same, formidable, strong. The front line being led by, of course, the your main people, mm -hmm. Sadio Mane, Luis Diaz, Mahmoud, and Mohamed Salah. Uh, in the midfield, definitely, we were depending on Thiago Alcantara, mm -hmm. but if he's not available still, Hendo. uh, Henderson might step up, of course, Captain Fantastic. So it's 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 good. Then at the back, the back line, I think I'm predicting, uh, of course, right back, that should be Robin, uh, Robertson. Uh, uh, we should have Robertson, Trent Alexander-Arnold, then the centre-backs, I think we should have Virgil van Dijk and uh, Konate, mm -hmm. and hopefully this will be 
a combo, a fire combo. Mm. So for Real Madrid, I don't know how you guys are planning. Of course, I know you are. Your front man Benzema is he injured? Can you tell me that? No, 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 no. Benzema has never been injured. He still has, uh, he still has that bandage, that uh, lucky bandage on his arm. Uh, Vinicius is very, very, very much fit, and uh, Modric is full of energy. Uh, Cruz. Vinicius, Cruz, Alaba is back. Kutoa is Kuto. Kuto is Kuto is Kuto. Wherever you come from, it's about, yeah. about. Uh, he's very much on form, so. Kazipo. Kazipo. Mm. Wow, good. They also have their backline, which is, is strong. So we have people like Milito, Militao, mm. uh, Kavahal. Uh, I hope they will do a good Casemiro. job. Casemiro. Casemiro, yeah. Yeah, Casemiro. But it is what it is. So, guys, I think for me, I'm expecting an exciting game. I can't wait for this UEFA Champions League finale because I'm excited to see what will happen. For the record, let me go on record and say this. I will be supporting Liverpool in this finale. I am behind Liverpool to win it. Liverpool have worked so hard, they have been very consistent. I dare, I dare even say that they are, they are the most consistent club in Europe this season. And I feel like they have worked so hard. Klopp has done a lot of work mm -hmm. to prepare the team and to make them worthy a competition in this competition. So I feel like I'm going to support them to go for the trophy, to go for this trophy. I believe they can do it. I believe Salah will get his fair share of revenge. He's going to score a brace with Sadio Mane assisting him to carry the cup. These two African giants, they have been impressive. Uh, Mane has won African Cup of Nations. Salah have be, has become a runners-up. So they all know what it means to be in a big competition like this. So that's why I'm going to go with Liverpool. Mm -hmm. I don't know Pogba, which team are you going with? Are you supporting Liverpool too? No, I will support Real Madrid because I feel like uh, uh, Liverpool, they're a bit mentally disturbed. They'll become, now that after losing narrowly to Man City in the Premier League, uh, they'll be coming in uh, angry. And in this game, you don't have to be angry or whatever. Uh, they want to win it. They're desperate to win it. But on the other side, remember, uh, Real Madrid won it very, very, very early. So they had time to rest. They had time to do all of their things. They had, uh, they had time to analyze the Liverpool squad and everything. So I'm expecting Real Madrid to start the game well relaxed. Relaxed, very much relaxed. Uh, just um, calculating for the Liverpool side. So I'm, I'll be going with Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Mm -hmm. So, can we give them our predictions? Yes, Real Madrid, three goals to one. Actually, Benzema will continue, but I feel on the other side, uh, Mane, Sadio Mane will score because that nigga. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, three one, Benzema and Vinicius. For me, I feel like it's going to be a difficult game. It's not going to be a goal, f uh, a game full of many goals because uh, it will be a game whereby everybody will be very reserved. And they will be they will be wanting to guard themselves, not to leak. So this is a match whereby I'm seeing two goals to one. Uh, so these two goals will be in favor of Liverpool. So we uh, I'm going for the Reds. I think that's why today I'm doing I've done the red. So the Reds I'm going with you to win tonight's uh, game. So please win this, and uh, we want you to be crowned as the seventh seventh with the seventh trophy, right? Mm -hmm. So that would be so, so, so nice. So, yes. So all the best to Team Liverpool. Let's hope that uh, you do that thing and win. Definitely. And uh, before we finish, I want to congratulate Roma mm -hmm. uh, for winning the Europa Conference League. Mm -hmm. uh, it's for the first time they're winning it. Actually, Jose Mourinho is still the special one there. Congratulations, Jose Mourinho. You are really, you are truly the special one. In fact, we were saying that Jose Mourinho has won each and every in each and every team that he's went to, apart from the only team he never won mm. at was Tottenham. Tottenham. So it's because only, he mm. was fired before a final. <laughs> he was in a final of the Carabao Cup, by the way, and he was fired. So he was to win it. True that. True mm. that. You're saying the truth. That's yeah. that's true. Yeah. Mm. So uh, that's the only place where Mourinho has never won. But he seems to be a serial winner. He is the guy who will go to any team and uh, and win. Mm. So yeah, big up, big up. I think Casemiro needs to hire him. <laughs> but anyway, Musa, no bad blood. So I think that should be it. But in other news, uh, Kenya, we are happy. We are hosting the World Cup trophy. 
definitely not the tournament <laughs> we are hosting <laughs> World Cup trophy is official in Kenya. Mm. It was uh, it landed in State House yesterday night. President Uhuru Kenyatta was able to receive it. And today, as we speak right now, it's live at KICC, mm. open for the public to go and see that beautiful and that glorious trophy, which will be fought for all over the world in December. From I think the World Cup will be starting in November. Sorry, November 11th running all the way to maybe December 23rd. Uh -huh. We shall confirm to you the details and post them there. So, uh, anything else, Pogba? Yes, let me congratulate Frankfurt for winning the Europa League. It was a pleasure. Mm. Oh, by the way, by the way, congratulations, mm. Frankfurt. That was job well done. Job well done. So, guys, also as we finish, I'm wearing the Invincible Currency, Invisible Currency. Basically, this is just an album which Calligraph Jones dropped just a month ago. So it's all over all streaming platforms. So we are just requesting you guys go stream Invincible Currency. Mm -hmm. It's one of the best hip hop albums in Africa. And I dare say even in the world, it's, it's quite a masterpiece. So make sure you go log into any streaming site you will find invisible currency it's there for you to enjoy all the songs by the which is your favorite song in this invisible currency Ikechuku. Ikechuku. Mm -hmm. guys guys Ikechuku been hitting harder so for me i think i have like three three best songs hiroshima is is one of my best uh, i'm on the move another big one then of late i've found myself listening to to tsunami he's done it with ska so much so Big up, that's a masterpiece of an album. And if you're wondering where you can get this type of a, this type of a shit a t shirt with a invisible currency logo, uh, you can contact one lavender toti. Uh, uh, I think we will be posting her handle, her Instagram handle right there. So contact her directly, she will be able to serve you or to provide for you these t shirts. I think they're going at 1000 shillings each. Mm -hmm. They have also the hoodies. So whatever you want, just contact Lavender Toti. Mm -hmm. She will be able to link you up. Definitely. But until then, we always say respect the OGs. Hashtag. Hashtag respect the OGs. We say he's the best rapper in Africa. Definitely. But that's, a, that's a debate for you guys to. Uh, that's my opinion. So you can also have your say. But as we finish, guys, will it be Hala Madrid or? Will it be the Reds, Liverpool? So, me as the Reds, I think I'm signing out as a Reds. Yeah, me as the Madrid and Los Blancos, we say, Hala Madrid. We only lift a white flag for Real Madrid, not any other person. So, guys, I think, guys, until next time when we'll be coming to actually do a post mortem of how the Champions League final was, I think it's just good to say.